Hey everyone, I hope you're all having a good autumn so far. Since it's still October, I wanted to bring you guys another holiday-themed game, and this one is just oozing with Halloween. I mean, if you couldn't tell by seeing this title card, Halloween Forever completely embraces the day it's named after. Even though it looks like a retro game from 30 years ago, it's actually quite recent. And I love when developers do that. It's great to have brand new games that show off the newest cutting-edge technology, but it's also nice to pay respects to the video game styles that got us to where we are today. So, let's take a look and see what this game has in store for us. Right away, I love the main character's design. You play as Pumpkin Man, and guess how he attacks his enemies? He vomits up candy corn as projectiles! <laughs> how can anyone say no to an idea like that? So, you have to get through five levels, each one filled with supernatural enemies to defeat, and all of them look really good! The attention to detail in some of these worlds is amazing. I especially love when you're in the second level, the Bloody Mansion, and you can see the embers falling off the candlesticks. It's just little touches like that that really add to the atmosphere. Pumpkin Man has the ability to jump and duck while firing, which really helps out in a lot of areas. I just wish he had the ability to see what was under him. Yeah, there's a lot of moments like that in this game, but I guess that's what you would expect from a 2D platformer. The bosses are a lot of fun. Some are a little more difficult than others, though. I found myself able to beat a few upon meeting them for the first time, but others took me multiple lives to figure out their patterns and plan the best course of attacking. But each one is really creative and keeps you guessing about what hellish creature they're going to send your way next. <laughs> Along the way, you can unlock new characters like this witch. Instead of candy corn, she throws cats, and they are really useful. They run around the screen, giving you an easier chance to defeat the enemies. But on top of that, they can assist you in finding secret areas. Had I been using Pumpkin Man, I would have never known you could break that part in the wall. So, I need to address my own grievance with this game. The controls. A lot of games nowadays allow you to customize your keyboard, so you can play the game in the way that feels most comfortable to you. Halloween Forever doesn't have this feature, and I feel that the ones that would have had the most difficulty with it are platforming gamers. Uh, let me explain. From the early days of gaming, like let's say Nintendo for example, most of the games are operated the same way. Your left hand would move the character around, and your right hand would press the buttons to jump and shoot. This type of gameplay mechanic is burned into most gamers' minds. Mario Brothers, Metroid, The Adventures of Link, Castlevania, Mega Man, they all work like this. But... Halloween Fever decides to flip-flop the control so that your right hand operates the movements while your left hand fires and jumps. There were so many times that I died in this game just because my brain is hardwired for the classic way of controlling a character. <laughs> but other than the controls, I really didn't have anything negative to say about this game. I guess at times it can be frustrating because you're only given a few lives and if you lose them all, you get put back at the beginning without any continues. But if you go into the menu, you can change your life counter to 99 to help you out. But by doing this, it does disable trophy collection, but eh. If you just want to play it, I would recommend doing this. But if you just have to collect everything, you might want to do it the traditional way. All in all, I would definitely recommend you guys play Halloween Forever. It was a lot of fun, and the fact that the creators went for a classic 8-bit style, I think it was a great choice. And one more thing I want to point out is the music during the credits. Sure, you could have just beat the game to see them, but they also give you the option to access it from the main menu. Why am I bringing this up? Because it has one of the best Halloween songs I've ever heard! It's Halloween forever. Halloween forever. I need to learn this song myself and play it sometime. Well, everyone, that just about wraps it up. As the end of the credits says, see you next game and stay spooky! I'm gonna go and put this awesome song on my iPod and... I don't know, carve a pumpkin. Or more than likely, I'm just gonna go watch Hocus Pocus and gorge myself on a big bag of Reese's. Happy Halloween, everyone, and stay safe out there. <laughs> <laughs> Halloween, 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 Halloween.